What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about Olu Fashanu. I hope I said that right. Anyway, uh, offensive lineman from Penn State. He's 6'6 and 308 pounds, give or take. Who knows by the time they get the combine pro day. Uh, but that's just what I've seen on ESPN, on ESPN's website, whatever. Um, but what I've seen on film, pretty, he plays with a pretty good base, which is nice. Seems plenty strong. Um, climbs well, which if you're not familiar with what that means is uh, basically in like a zone run type of thing. Um, since he's a tackle, maybe he's got his hands on, you know, the defensive end, but the guard is pulling. The guard will get his hands on said defensive end, and then he will climb up to get to the linebacker to spring the running back free. Um, he's he's good at doing those things smoothly. Um, some pretty solid dance. Some pretty solid feet to him. Uh, he doesn't kill anybody, but he's fairly efficient. Um, one thing I'm not super big fan of, but I know this is something that people teach. Uh, he gets one hand inside and one hand outside. I know he's been taught to do that because um, he does do it consistently. So at least he has um, took to coaching, and at least he is getting that one hand inside. I know a lot of people really like the one hand in, one hand out on the shoulder pad. I don't. I'm personally a fan of getting both of your hands inside. It's an old school more old school way of doing it, but I, I I think it's there for a reason. Think about it. If you're going to push a heavier full refrigerator over, how would you do it without hurting your back? You put your hands inside on the handles and drive with your legs forward and push it over. That That's how you don't strain your back. That's because that's where you're, you have the most control and that's where you're the most powerful is close to your core. So that's why I, I like the hands inside thing. Uh, when your hands are outside, that's not where you're strong. Just is what it is. Like even if you think about it, like boxing, why do you think a jab isn't as powerful as like a hook or an uppercut? Because you're punching from, like it, like an uppercut or a hook, you're punching from closer to your core. But as you go further away, the jab loses power. Same deal. Um, he is pretty accurate with his hands, which is nice. Uh, I'd like to see both hands inside. Like I said. Um, Turns pretty well, looks for work, good finish. I like him. Um, I don't think he necessarily has like all the athletic traits as some of the other guys, um, but I do like him. Um, probably as a uh, late first-round talent, early second-round talent, uh, I, I do like him quite a bit. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. If you liked it, appreciate hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments in the comments down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.